all right y'all so we are moved back in now i need to clean this mess up so we're gonna get going oh my gosh look i forgot i forgot how beautiful the sunset is here oh my god so I've been here for about like two hours, but we have to unplug our fridge while we're gone So I just left my cooler in my car. Oh, my frozen stuff is kind of still frozen. So that's good That's really helpful. Let's see if this thing fits in here. My grandma made some fruity tea. Moving back in We got some food. I barely have anything in my fridge, but stuff that I do have doesn't really fit well But it's fine. Now the cooler is gonna be in its designated spot. Now I need to put all of these clothes in here if it's not already obvious, Sarah is not here yet. She's moving in tomorrow. I need to get Guardian on this closet. Oh my gosh, how do I have so many clothes in here? <laughs> and I have so many clothes. Wow, oh, that sunset is so pretty. I guess I never did like a little intro, but basically I'm moving back into my dorm. I feel like I want to do like a moving back in. Wow, I feel like I have like a nice orange face right now. I know that that probably looks weird, but I think it's so pretty. That is so good. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. What the heck? I think I want to do like a getting back to routine. Just getting back to life, you know? Kind of vlog, so yeah. I wonder if I could put you up here because I need to organize this closet. That's a cute angle right there. I just want to do like a nice little vlog of like me getting back to my college life, getting back in the swing of things, you know? I had a good break. Hopefully y'all noticed that I uploaded like a lot more than I have like the whole first semester basically because you know I actually had time to and I wasn't like focused on school Hopefully I'll still be in kind of a swing of that being able to Still make some videos even though I'm gonna have a lot of school this semester So I think I'm gonna do a nice little organization like sweatshirts sweaters since i have the time break was so good i got to spend so much time with my mom i got to dog sit house sit for two weeks i got to film a lot i got to see like a few people that i'm friends with it's just kind of hard because all my friends are here which is not usual especially for someone's first semester that's very unusual to have like all of your friends here but whenever i left high school i was like so ready to get out that like i didn't really have any friends and this isn't like poor me i'm just kind of like telling you my circumstances i haven't had like a great break where like i got to see like all of my friends because all my friends are here or like they go to school here but then they weren't here because they live somewhere else but the majority of my friends actually do live here so they're here during the break which i did end up coming up one time at least which was good and i had some friends come down once as well it was kind of hard just because i didn't really have anything to do because i also wasn't working at smoothie king anymore so yeah i'm excited to be back and be with my friends and be back in a routine and like my own space so yeah we love organizing guess i'll turn the camera back on whenever i tackle all that stuff so i got that organized she's looking pretty good she's looking pretty good okay so i was getting ready to unpack this big bin i wanted to show y'all so i got this skirt from the thrift store the other day it's been washed by the way it's like one of those i don't even know what they're called but it's kind of like a weird length you know but like i like to wear it like under here or here you know kind of higher up and it's actually like really tight it's gonna actually fit me then i also got this pot from the thrift store i'm pretty sure this is like complete stainless steel not really sure but it doesn't have like a coating or anything on it so to me that's a win i'm very excited about this it's just a very like versatile little pot i have a list of things for my apartment or rental whatever i end up getting this next school year that i am gonna get from the thrift store i also got a square like brownie dish or casserole dish and it's glass i got this for christmas it's a friend's calendar so we love that someone gave us like a big box of books that they're gonna get rid of i have quite a few books that i got from that i'm gonna reread this one and then i got the third season of friends for christmas and it was also second hand, so we love that. All these things need to go over here. Add this to my friend's collection. And there she is, much more organized. I feel like I'm not really doing anything, so I'll just see you when everything is cleaned up. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I feel like it probably is gonna fall off because it's right above the air, but you know, it's fine. All right, so it's Thursday. Have not given an update because school really just it kind of smacked me um becoming a ring person so we love that i have one more ring coming in the mail for this finger but will that be too structured to be a ring person probably i like her 
being organized. I've, you know, had this one for like, I think three years. And then this one I got in like January. I think y'all have seen this in a video. And then this one I got the other day because I ordered it. And then I have one more coming for this finger set. I feel like I was meant to be a ring person. I've always wanted to be a ring person, but I've always wanted to have like nice rings that I can actually like live my life with. Okay, so I kind of wanted to talk through, you know, how life's been going. I don't even remember what the last thing I said was. Tuesday, my classes open up on the website that they use. Tuesday was the day that I got smacked because all of my classes opened on the website so I could like plan, you know, the next four months of my life, basically due dates and all those things. That was the day that I was a little overwhelmed. All I'm gonna say is this planner has already been very loved. There's already dates. This is every week. So that's March. Like we're in March and there's colors everywhere. I color coded my classes this year. Yes, that's something that I'm getting nerdy about. So judge me. I don't really care. This side is not because I didn't realize I was going to color code it whenever I was doing that. Next week it starts being nice and color coded. These are all my colors I use for all my classes. Yesterday was very hectic. This was yesterday. This is today so that's a lot better. I'm not trying to like show you my to-do list. It's kind of like invading my privacy. But I ended up getting it all done by like 4 or 4.30ish. I just kind of chilled and went to like one of my sweet friend's house so that was great. I'm hoping that's what I can do is like get all of my work done in like the first chunk of the day and then even if it's like the main point of the day like up until 4 or 5 o'clock and then for the night time just be able to chill and actually be able to like pour into my friendships because I don't want to just disappear but I have like warned all my friends that I'm like you might not see me as often because this semester is gonna be hectic but it's gonna happen it's doable we're gonna do this thing. It's gonna be great. So yeah, there's a little update. I don't honestly know if I'm gonna post this. If I have like edited and posted this video, round of applause to me because like the fact that I'm just in my dorm talking to my camera and I'm actually bothering to edit this, I'm actually bothering to post this and you're actually bothering to watch it lot, watch her this. <laughs> that is persistence right there. That is dedication, my dudes. I still haven't filmed the single video that I wanted to film. I have a big day ahead and it's already 9.30, which is, early to some people, but to me that's kind of late. I don't know what else to tell you. I did have a package arrive, I got an email, so I wonder if that's this ring. I don't think it's another textbook because there's no way that I have another textbook. I'm still waiting for one book. So I'm actually gonna have nine textbooks. We love that. Yesterday I was in my dorm all day and I cannot do that today because I felt like I was going to explode. I really don't know what else to say. I really hope that y'all, if you're in school, I hope that your week has gone well. I hope y'all are doing well and that you are taking care of yourself while also being busy and getting stuff done and being productive, that you're spending time with the Lord and spending time with yourself and nourishing yourself properly and giving yourself the breaks you need. I was like a little, just a little spiel that I thought I'd share because I just really, really want people to take care of themselves. I guess I'll see you if for some reason I come on here again. I mean, I'll need to offer something else than just sitting here and chatting, but I mean, I probably will just do this maybe. I don't know. Alrighty guys, so it is the hot and spicy Saturday night. You know, we are having fun here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I will be maybe having fun. I don't know, but I'm uh, for sure starting it good because you know, cracking open a cold one with the boys, you know. Cheers. I've only had this once before. This is for sure like the best kombucha found. If you're really just trying to like kombucha and you don't, I'd for sure say to try this. The first time I tried it, I wasn't crazy about it, but then by the time I finished it, I liked it. So I just wanted to talk about how I've just been on my grind this week doing homework kind of nonstop, but it's really fine. But I did want to say that today I was at a coffee shop from 9.30 to four o'clock doing homework. I used my keep cup for my London fog today and it was so exciting. I didn't use a cup even though I got to like experience being in a coffee shop while not using a disposable cup. So we love that. But yeah, I just went to the store because I've been wanting kombucha for like a whole week and I just haven't gotten it yet. I was finally like back in the middle of town. And then I also got these because they were on sale and I've never had like the big cookies before but these little tiny cookies are really good. I for sure have eaten more than serving size but it's really fine they just look like little little baby cookies and they're really crunchy mm, i really like crunch cake cookies mm, 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 mm. oh my goodness oh, that's so good i could literally eat the whole bag the last time i talked to you wasn't yesterday i think it was the day before so yesterday i got a few things done not as much as i wanted to but we ended up going to this beautiful beautiful place to watch the sunset oh my god like look how beautiful that is so worth 
not doing enough homework. I think I've talked about this once before that I would get up early and then I'd work until four o'clock straight, which I'd get stuff done, but then I would basically like beat myself to death where I didn't know what to do at night because I didn't spread all my stuff. Now that I've done it, like I kind of like that, even though it might not seem like the healthiest. It also is because I have like the nights to like do things and see people. It's been a lot and I still have a lot to do. What can you do? There's not really a point in getting stressed out, which I for sure have been stressed out this week, especially this morning. I was at my coffee shop for six and a half hours. Oh my gosh. And I really only got two things done, but they were like two giant things. Oh, I guess I did get a little bit of Spanish done as well. I have to finish Spanish though because all the other Spanish modules I had left were like all speaking and I couldn't do that in a coffee shop. I just have to recognize that even if I'm not getting as much done as I feel like I should be, I'm still getting stuff done. Like it's not like I'm procrastinating and just sitting there like I was literally working the whole time. My biggest takeaway from this week is definitely that I need to not stay in my dorm because my second school day back, I just stayed in my dorm all day doing work and that was not good. I need to get out of my dorm, even if I'm in the same place, like even being in the coffee shop all day today because it's such a like change, like people coming in and out, it's different than you know, being in your resting place all day, working, and then also staying here to rest. Unless I only have like a few hours of homework or something, then if I know I'm gonna be doing work all day, then I just need to go. I'm very happy because I have my kombucha and I've really been wanting kombucha all week. I just didn't feel like going to the store. Yes, it's been a stressful week. I've had a lot of stuff to do, but it's also been really good because I've been back in my own space and I have been back with like all my sweet friends. For sure working a lot harder than I did last semester, but I'm like starting out the semester with friends. Last semester it was like I was coming in, I was new and Sarah's my only friend and now I have like solid people that I love and just very happy, very grateful, very blessed. I've started rereading Captivating because I read this last year. I feel like around this point, honestly, I just feel like I know it was a good book but I don't remember why I just feel like I'm a lot different than I was at this point last year and I feel like I'm gonna interpret it in a lot different way I'm excited to read that and I might just kind of come out of it and be the same as I was in the end of the last time which is fine I've been really enjoying rereading books because it's just like when you reread the Bible you get different stuff out of it I also have some friends that might want to be introduced to my YouTube channel so we might be seeing people on here I also feel like I said that last year and that didn't happen so <laughs> so yeah that's the first week back at college I really hope you all enjoyed this video even though it was literally just a video of me sitting the beginning had a little bit of action mostly just me sitting at my desk I hope that it gave you a little distraction from maybe your schoolwork or just from life and gave you a little, little smile a little giggle you know go treat yourself to a kombucha if you like kombucha if you're trying to get off soda I mean honestly she's pretty fizzy I don't even like soda but I just like kombucha because it feels like a little something other than water. I've been wanting to just speak Spanish like all day. I wish that I was with my Spanish speaking friends today because I just was in the Spanish mood. That's what it was. Okay, that's why. It's because I watched Super Lopez with my two sweet friends last night. If you know like a little bit of Spanish, if you like Spanish, if you're passionate for Spanish and you want to see like an action movie, also be technically be kind of educating yourself while enjoying a movie. For sure watch Super Lopez. It's on Netflix. It is very fast paced they talk really fast just turn them English subtitles on and you're technically still learning because even though you're looking at the subtitles you still are seeing the movie and also hearing the Spanish word while looking at the words so I couldn't recall anything they said last night in Spanish but I do remember them saying que paso but that's about it <laughs> so yeah highly recommend super Lopez we're probably gonna make that a bi-weekly thing make sure that you prioritize your friendships y'all because they're so important for you to have a happy life how have I already been talking for 22 minutes I don't know how that but I was just gonna say Jesus is a very very important your relationship with the Lord is very important but also like we are meant to be with other people and not alone being with other people who are gonna like build you up and that you can talk to about things that you're going through and things that are, the Lord is teaching you like is so good and so healthy and so needed that's my little spiel i feel like i've already had a few spells on this video but you know it's fine for the 15th time i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love if you would subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it would mean so much to me and just let me know if this was a complete waste of your time or if you would like to see videos where i'm literally doing nothing and it be actually fun to watch slash you enjoy watching it or if i should only do videos where it's actually like there's a point to it so just let me know be honest don't be rude but be honest <laughs> thank you all so much for watching bye adios